Hey guys, what's up? It is the Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, let's just address it right away. There are huge changes coming for me and for you guys and for my chinchillas and um, yeah, first of all, I'm sorry for the setting. It is nighttime and I just really want to get this video filmed and out there for you guys. I just didn't want to prolong it anymore. So yeah, the setting and then my room is kind of weird. It's different lighting and I'm filming with my phone, but I'm doing that because I just Right now, I just want to get all my thoughts out. I just want to get this filmed and edited and uploaded for everyone to know and to see. First of all, I just want to thank you guys all, all my subscribers and all my followers who have supported me in my channel in the past couple years, or if you just recently started supporting me. Thank you guys so much. I don't think that you'll ever know what this opportunity was for me. Like, this is an incredible thing that not a lot of people get to experience, you know, having a YouTube channel and interacting with hundreds of people and being able to have a platform where people want to hear from you and they want to see your content. It's insane. And I, I so am thankful for everything that I have gotten, everything that I've been able to experience. And, you know, I started this channel when I was 14, so that was four years ago and I'm 18 now. And it's just like the way that I've grown. I remember when I had 35 subscribers and I was so ecstatic. I was so excited. And now I have 31,800, like almost 32. That's insane. Like I still can't even wrap my head around the fact that, you know, the Lord has just blessed me so much with increasing my channel to this size. And I just wanted to thank you guys as well for that because I've received an, a tremendous amount of support and encouragement. And I feel like I've built this chinchilla community where... We all just, you know, you look forward to my videos and you comment on them and you all interact with each other. I just love it. And, and I'm so thankful that I was able to create that for you and that I have all those videos online that will always be there for people who are getting into chinchillas, who don't know a lot about them, all that. I'm very thankful, but there are a lot of changes coming in my life. So I'm 18 and I am in my sophomore year of college. And I know that's like not usually, people are not usually in their sophomore year of college at 18, but I did accelerate in school early in life. So that's why I'm 18 and in my sophomore year of college. But um, basically the original plan had always been, a, a few months ago I wrote, I, I said in a video, like I mentioned in a video how I was going to be moving down to Tennessee soon. And um, we live up in Washington. So that's like literally across the United States. And my original plan had been to take them with me and we had like a shed picked out with installation, with electrical, with all that heating, air conditioning. It was ready for them. We bought our house. We just closed a deal a few weeks ago. Everything was set, you know, like we had this plan and then suddenly just realization hit me and like plans changed. I didn't even know at the beginning of this year, let alone like a week ago, what I was going to do. And now it's like, I have to make so many decisions. I have to take on so much responsibility. I don't really know. How to approach that but i have come to a decision and it is to end this channel and to put up my chinchillas for adoption and i know that there's going to be a lot of you guys who are completely shocked by this who are completely like maybe emotionally invested in my chinchillas and my channel or in me or whatever it is and this is really hard for you guys to hear trust me it is really hard for me to accept and to talk about as well and especially announcing it to you guys i had just been thinking about this for a few days and i didn't want to talk about it at all but I realized that the sooner you guys know, the better because I am moving in two weeks and I have to have my chinchillas up for adoption within the next two weeks. <sighs> so a lot of you guys are probably wondering why. And so as you guys know, I'm 18, I'm in college. There's a lot of changes coming to me. And I don't know if you guys have been noticing in the past couple months, I, I feel like for the past year, I've been so into college, I've been so much into work and traveling that it's just been my energy level and the original motivation I had for this channel has just dropped incredibly. And you can like, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I can definitely tell the difference in my content. And I don't interact with my chinchillas as much. I haven't even been home for the past three weeks as I just came home today and like I haven't even slept in my own bed for a long time. I'm never home and my mom takes care of my chinchillas or my friends do. They come over, they let them out, they clean their cages, but chinchillas, Merlin and Zoro have been really pushed to the back burner in my life. And as much as I would like to push them back up into a priority section, I just no longer can. And there is just no longer a way that I can make room for this channel or my pets anymore. Um, I'm really young. I have a lot of goals and responsibility and for me, Education comes first, job comes first, family comes first. It's not my channel or my pets, unfortunately. It's just not a priority for me, especially as a college student. Um, I'm trying to finish my degree accelerated. It's not in the normal four years of a bachelor's. I'm trying to finish it in two or three years, which is an insane goal, but I'm trying. And 
during this year, like I didn't even know my plans for this year, but I'm going to be living half in Washington, half in Tennessee. So I'm in Washington now. I'm moving to Tennessee. I'm going to come back to Washington and then the back to Tennessee. And it's going to be like this for a while. I don't even know how long it's going to last for, but there are just so many changes that are coming in my life. So much decisions for me to take. And I have no idea where to begin with. Um, I've just been trying to consult my parents a lot, my friends, anybody who I can get an opinion from that I value on certain decisions and when it comes to this channel and when it comes to my chinchillas my parents know how difficult this is for me i'm very emotionally attached and sentimental to things and places and people and that's how i feel about my pets especially merlin i've had him for so long i don't even know i first got chinchillas in 2012 that was like nine years ago and i got merlin i believe in 2015 i've had him for years and it's just it's, the thought of not having them anymore as pets is crazy it's insane i can't even wrap my head around saying goodbye to merlin or zorro and if you guys think that's a shock for you imagine how it is for me like i've had these pets since i was a kid and i just remember when i was a kid how excited i was to have them and to learn about chinchillas and to properly take care of them and i no longer have that for them like i'm not able to be the owner that they need and i know that they will be a great pet for somebody else who wants them and who is you know willing to take care of them i grew up in washington my whole life and now i'm just kind of just picking up everything and moving to another state across the united states and it's a huge change in my life i am planning to get married um soon you know like within a few years now and start a family soon i'm planning to finish my bachelor's start my master's there's just a lot and i'm doing a lot of traveling a lot of different jobs and work everywhere and there's just so much that is changing. I don't really have a conventional life as you guys would maybe put it. Like, it's just like, there's so much unknown. I'm a very, very spontaneous person and my whole family is. We just kind of decided to pick up and move just like, you know. Merlin means a lot to me and I've had him, like I said, for years now. And it's gonna be really hard saying goodbye with him. I remember when I first got him, I would film. I had this old, actually it's right here. This iPad, I don't even know what generation it is. It is like the iPad 1 or something. It's really old. It's insanely old and it's like bent because <laughs> we sat on it years ago and like we cracked the screen, but it still works. It's just dead, no battery right now. But this is the iPad I first started this YouTube channel with. I filmed on this iPad, terrible quality. If you go back to my first videos, it's very cringy and terrible quality. But I started out with this. I started out with Merlin and it's just, it's insane where we are to now, you know, so much has changed. And I remember as a kid, I would pretend to film YouTube videos and then I wouldn't upload them. And eventually I got iMovie and I edited them and uploaded them and it was insane. Like I was so excited about that. But yeah, like I, I've come a long way with my chinchillas. I've come a long way with this channel and it's going to be really hard saying goodbye. But honestly, it's just what you have to do as you grow up. There's a lot of changes that hit you and a lot of choices and decisions that need to be made. And you have to be mature. You have to be responsible and you have to make the right decision for you and for the pets involved. And so I know that I say in a lot of my videos, you know, if you are planning to get a chinchilla, and this still applies, if you're planning to get a chinchilla, know they live from 15 to 20 years and to plan to have them in your life until they die. You know, they're a long-term commitment and I still stand by that. However, um, you really never know what life brings you. And like I said, you have to choose what's a priority in your life. And for me, it is my education and it is my job. It is my family. It is the businesses that I choose or, or that I hope to begin in the future. There's just so much that I am not willing to give up for this. And I honestly do not have the time. I don't want my chinchillas to be taken care of by my mom or my friends or a care sitter, like a pet sitter. I want them to be able to have an owner who's invested in them, who can take care of them and give them what they need. And I love my chinchillas, so you can be sure that they are going to the absolute best home possible. They're not just going to be given away to the first Craigslist person that comes along. I don't even know how I'm, I'm going to put them up for adoption, but I am putting them up for adoption, both of them. And um, I tried to see if I could find a family or a friend that I could keep them in my life, you know, like to visit and maybe see them, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, so adoption is just looking like the only option for me now to give my chinchillas away with. But yeah, I just thought I would get on here and explain because I don't want to just like, you know, leave YouTube and leave Instagram without letting you guys know what's happening in my life or what happened to the chinchillas and all that. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to explain a little bit more in detail that, yeah, things are changing in my life. It's insane. And I don't even want to think about leaving all my friends and all my family behind in two weeks and like leaving everything as I know it behind. Literally just taking my bed and my clothes 
this desk is not even gonna be mine anymore. Like, I'm getting rid of everything. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so a lot of things are changing, but fortunately, that doesn't have to be a bad thing, and I've been really conflicted with my emotions, and I'm very sentimentally attached to this channel, and to you guys, and to this platform, and everything as a whole, but this is a decision that I've decided to make, and it's extremely hard, but it has to be done, and it's what's best for my chinchillas. In the end, I know that, so, yeah, I just, it's really hard to choose to do, but it's what you have to do. Um... And I wanted to say that I won't probably be uploading on this channel anymore because I won't have my chinchillas anymore, but there was a lot of information that I was able to help you guys with and you can still look through my channel, you know. I probably won't respond to comments on my channel as much, but I will still have my chinchilla Instagram again, probably not posting on it, but I will still try to be DMing you guys and interacting with you that way if you need help. I don't want to just like, you know, end everything and just move on from it. I want to be able to help you guys as much as possible. So there will always be my chinchilla Instagram that I will be keeping. So yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know my plans for the future. And I know this is a really huge shock and a huge surprise to you guys. It is to me as well. But yeah, I have had to make a lot of quick decisions that are extremely permanent and difficult to make within just like a few days right now because I did not expect to be leaving in two weeks, but apparently I am. So Anyway, I just thought I would let you guys know, and yeah, thank you guys for everything that you've offered me throughout these years. It's been an incredible opportunity, but some changes are happening, and I will also film a little bit with my chinchillas so that you guys can say goodbye to them, so I'll do that now. Guys, oh, <laughs> my flash just turned on. <laughs> um, so this is Merlin. <sighs> oh, okay. I see the way it is. I don't even... Like, I don't even tell you how much I'm gonna miss this little guy. And, um, like, he's just been my buddy for so long. And now it's time to say goodbye. And it's insanely sad for me. And I can't believe that this is happening, but yeah. So Merlin says goodbye and you guys, I am very thankful that you guys got to know my chinchillas more and you got to watch them grow up. I think I started filming when this guy was like six months old. He was just a baby. And then we have Zoro here. I don't even know why the flash turned on my phone. That's weird. We have Zoro who is definitely gonna run away from me. I haven't had this guy for nearly as long, but he has definitely been such a sweet, thing in my life <laughs> um it's just taking me a lot of patience with this guy i'm gonna miss him a lot too but he is really sweet and he is such a pretty chinchilla just look at him he's got the prettiest coloring and i've honestly only had him for a year and i really wish that i could keep him for much longer but anyway i'm gonna spare you guys the tears i've already cried a lot over this and i will continue to cry for probably years but I know that this is what's best for them and I can't take them with me into the next journey and the next stage of my life. I can't take my chinchillas or my channel with me and I have to learn to be okay with that because that's just what life is about. It's about going through the different motions, through the different stages and accepting them, not being in denial and not trying to hold on to something that's no longer, you know, yours to keep. So. Yeah, I hope you guys can understand. I know that this is gonna come as a huge shock to you all, but I really hope that you will see where I'm coming from. And I know you guys can never truly understand what I'm going through because you don't know my personal life. You don't know the details of everything that I have to deal with and what decisions I have to make. You're not, you don't really know what's going on. You just know what I'm telling you, like the, the basics of it, like the background of it. But I hope that at least you guys can be very understanding and know that I will make sure that these guys go to a really good home and that they will be well taken care of. And it's definitely not an easy decision for me. It's probably one of the most difficult decisions I've had to make in my life. So I want you guys to know that and I love you all very much. And thank you for everything that you've done for me.